All right, I don't want to get copyright. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you how much gas this holds. Actually, no, I'm not, because I'm not gonna fill it up. Now, you guys want to see how much gas is where I'm from? Let's go to the gas station and find out. If, as soon as I get in the truck, shut the auto stop off because that is the most annoying feature they've ever put on a vehicle well that and if you have a v8 the cylinder deactivation is worse for sure but um you can actually turn off the auto stop in the settings here but i did it before and then it came back on for some reason and so now i just whatever no you guys don't really care for the truck content but this truck for a 375 horse, 470 torque, it's actually really good on gas. I know it's the aluminum body, but it is the Lariat. It is fully loaded. Um, it's got the ambient lighting, the BNO sound system. So it is the heavier of the trucks for the F-150s. Um, it's not, uh, it doesn't have the six and a half foot box, just the five and a half, but one of my favorite things about this is sport mode. Now, economy mode is great. I use it, like I said, I probably use economy mode 90% of the time. So, I'm gonna put it in sport mode, see if you guys can see the kick it'll give. So I'm rolling at 50, 30 miles an hour here, uh, which is 50 kilometers. So let's go ahead and floor it. Oh, thought there was a cop, um, but no. So yeah, it's got a kick here at 40 miles. I kind of exaggerated the throwback in the seat there. It does it like a little bit, but it doesn't doesn't hold your head back like I made it look like. It, not yet, anyways. But the thing with sport mode is uh, it does suck the gas. That's for sure. But it'll hold, it'll hold the RPMs. Like you can put it in manual mode and it won't auto upshift. Like all the Hon new Hondas and Acuras. Like come on, if Ford can do it, why can't friggin' the good cars do it? So apparently a US gallon is different than a Canadian gallon. Like what? That makes no sense. I just found that out and I'm 32 years old. So a US gallon is 3.785 liters, where a Canadian gallon, you think a gallon's a gallon, but no. Anyways, a Canadian gallon's like four point something liters. But anyways, so we pay a dollar seventy-two point eight per liter. So times that by 3.785. Shell actually says may contain up to 10% ethanol. Before, no ethanol. So we're paying more for gas for horrible quality gas. These power running boards are not working. Well, they're working, they're just, this one's stuck on. Now, in the winter, they get full of uh, salt and grime and dirt. And I had them greased up uh, before the winter and they were working perfect. And then the winter came and I forgot to shut them off. I shut them off in the winter so they stay up. But I forgot and now they're stuck out. So I got to bring it to a car wash, rinse them out, and then we should be fine. I only put 120 bucks. 69 liters. I didn't do that on purpose. Built Ford tough. We'll see. If a, if a vehicle can last me like years with no maintenance or other than oil changes and brakes and no major issues, then it's reliable. Because I'm telling you, I beat the crap out of my vehicles but i maintain them well so well now i do i never used to added a little bit over half a tank now i can reset this let's reset it just for the sake of the video i'm gonna drive like i normally would and we'll see what we get for gas mileage now most of the time just putting around I, I am in economy mode it's literally what I do when I get in the truck 
First thing, one, two, three, economy mode. My job is extremely physically hard. Um, it is probably one of the hardest physical jobs you can have. For those that have ever picked orders and were good at it or like actually put an effort, like there's people that, that pick orders but they're horrible and slow and crappy workers. I've been picking boxes for, oh, for too long guys. I've been picking, I started picking at 18. I tore my ACL and uh, then I had knee surgery. I did that for three and a half years, then I went and did some other jobs, but then I went back to picking for six months. Then I got let go for putting a piece of wood under somebody's machine, like, so stupid. They didn't like me because I'd yell at people to hurry up. Um, now, I've been at the same company for six, six, going on seven years, picking. I've injured my back three times. I've, my rotator cuffs are, I had to slow down because my rotator cuffs were getting really bad and my wrist carpal tunnel is bad from that your wrist your fingers all your joints they're all sore and then sure enough the other day I hurt my ribs I slipped fell my ribs landed on boxes and I went to the hospital because I thought I broke my ribs and uh, she said I had a bruise I bruised my ribs which, and she said like the lower ribs is mostly cartilage, so they don't know maybe, maybe I broke the lower ones, but it won't show on the x-ray. So anyways, that's my sob story. <laughs> I'm 32, I feel 62. I got this truck and I told myself I'm gonna get bonus every week so I can have a nice truck. And uh, so I'm pretty much living above my means. It's not smart, but it forces me to work hard and get nice things. So, unfortunately I injured myself, now I'm not getting bonus, which pays for the truck. So I'm hopefully just a two, three weeks max and I'll be back to picking. Uh, bruised ribs, they say three to six weeks, but I'm hoping two weeks I'll take uh, some leave and CBD or something and it should help. So anyways, back to the truck. So I'm just, Putting along here at 90 on the freaking highway. I gotta hurry up. But I kind of just wanted, like, it is snowing, so I can't go too crazy. I'll put it in four auto and do a pull. In economy mode, just cruising. The turbos aren't even really working. And then as soon as you put it into normal mode, keep your foot at the same, same level. Turbos are working a little bit, as you can see. But then when you put it in sport mode, keep my foot at the same, nope. Sp come on, sport mode. Then the turbos are kicking in. Like I said, there's snow, so. I'm not gonna go crazy, but this thing only, this thing cuts out at 170 kilometers anyway, so I can't really have too much fun with it, but it does have a kick. It does die down more in the higher, higher speeds, but like mid, mid to low range, this thing pulls. But anyways. So I drive like that every now and then, not all the time, but I'm approaching a truck. So I'm gonna slow down, put it back in economy mode, and pretty much save my gas till I get home. I floored it as you've seen on the highway, and I wasn't like coasting to my stops, like really trying to pay attention to my gas mileage. And we're at 13.2 liters per hundred. We I gotta make better content, more content and uh, just not give up, keep at it. And uh, I appreciate all you that comment, subscribe and support me. And uh, I'll, I'll make sure to keep the videos coming. So stay tuned. I definitely have lots of plans. My next video, TL video, I'm gonna say why I think the 4th gen is the best TL. 
So, third gen guys, we'll have something to debate. Now, I've driven a third gen Type S, so I kind of can, and I've driven a, in other third gen, so I get why people think the third gen is better, but I'll tell you my reasons why I think the fourth gen is better. So, stay tuned for that, um, and the cost of my build. I have a video, I started writing down all my costs so far for the TL, and then I started crying, so I didn't make the video. But um, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.